Hi, everyone. So my name is Mike Harvey. I am Head of Strategic Communications at uh, Web Summit. Uh, we're very proud to be uh, launching Surge in Bangalore uh, next week. Um, and uh, with me um, is Pooja. Um, and we're, today we're going to talk about uh, how to hack the media, how to get the best out of the media if you're a startup uh, coming to Surge or an, or an event like Surge. So, um, Pooja, very honored to have you with us. So if you could just perhaps introduce yourself um, and, and then we'll go from there. Hi everyone, I'm Pooja Sarin. I'm founder of Inc. 42 and I'm editor as well at Inc. 42. So basically my job here is to write about startup and edit the store startup stories, which I usually get. So I am being junked with hundreds of startup stories every day. So I deal with so many startups on a daily basis. So I think this session is something which I want to use to share my experiences and my learnings for startups. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, and Pooja and I met uh, when we were over uh, launching Surge uh, to the Indian media back in early December, it was. Um, and yeah. uh, and uh, Inc. 42, obviously amazing uh, startup uh, portal, lots of fantastic stories in there. Um, so we're very, very pleased to be working with you. So, um, I mean, uh, let me introduce myself a little bit more. My background is as a journalist as well. So uh, before I moved into comms and PR, I was a journalist with the Times of London for many years and, and has worked in Silicon Valley. So I've, I've written about startups and, and sat on both sides of the table as well. So hopefully between us, we'll be able to come up with some, with some decent advice. So, um, so Pooja, just, uh, I suppose my first question is, what's the most important thing for startups coming to an, a, a startup event, a, 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 an entrepreneur event like Surge, what's the most important thing uh, for them to think about? I think the most important thing should be do your homework. For a startup who is coming for a conference uh, with, with, a, with a thing in mind that they want to get coverage as well, so they should do their homework first. And when they are interacting with media, they should, you know, actually prepare a list of things that they, sh they want to tell to media and the things they do not want to share with media. And top of that, the next important thing for them is to actually, you know, uh, think about how they are going to see say these things. Because being a person who interacts with startups on a daily basis, I usually, you know, see for their attitude, their body language and how they are speaking out things. So it's important for startups to, you know, take care of these things when they're interacting with media. And another important thing, you know, if they're looking for publicity through conferences like Surge, so I usually suggest them to, you know, if you are going to launch some feature or your startup during these conferences, always try to, you know, start reaching out the media people in advance. Rather than just going and meeting them randomly, try to, you know, build connections before the event as well. So I have seen that, you know, a couple of startups from India who are coming for Surge, they, they have already started rolling out their press release that, hey, we are going to launch during Surge. So there is a startup called Ether Energy. So this startup has, you know, already sent us an invite that we are launching uh, at Surge and we are going to do this. So this creates a curiosity in mind of, a, you know, a media person that, OK, this is something which is going to happen and this is something I have to go and attend. So I think startups should start doing their homework from today only if they are looking for some sort of a publicity or they want to get a media coverage through the uh, through the conference. Sure, I, th I think I think that's very good advice. I mean, from 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 my experience, from our point of view, we always tell that any attendee that's coming to an event uh, like Surge is that you need to prepare. Um, the thing about the thing events like Surge is the hustle is very important. And startup and entrepreneurs, startups and entrepreneurs, they know founders, they know that you know this is their this is their life's work, this is what they're putting all their energy in, and they understand that the hustle is very important. And when it comes to when it comes to media and coverage and making relationships and making connections, you have to put in your your preparation uh, ahead of time. It's very yeah. difficult just to turn up. And expect that people are going to write you, uh, write about you. Um, so um, you talked about, you know, press releases. Um, what, uh, what, what, are the, what, what, you know, what are you looking for uh, as a startup, as a startup journalist? What are you looking for from from a from a press release? So basically, in in a press release, I usually look for okay, what the what the startup does, it is there already. So the curiosity here comes as the competition, the market. 
so this is some these are the few things which you know usually as a as a writer i look for so if there are, so it is not true that you know there is only one startup of its own kind so there are number of startups who are doing those things so it's better they should you know always mention okay these are the people but this is how we are different so usually you know startups miss out on you know writing these things in press release and even when they communicate with with the media people they usually say no we do not see a competition okay but these things are usually missing in the press release and even in the personal interaction so i think they should try to add these things plus whenever they write a press release they should know that what are they looking from it are they announcing a new feature are they announcing something big that they are going to do so there should be some motive behind every press release so i receive around 10 to 15 random press releases every day but there is no point in covering that so startup should understand this thing when they are writing a press release okay we are not, we are uh, doing a press release on this then what so what will what will be the end point so what's the point of doing this this press release yes i so think they should try to question it yes i i think i think you're absolutely right i think one of the key things here is is that you've got to put yourselves in the in the position of the journalist the journalist what the journalist is looking for always is news the bit that's new or different or or has changed and they have to and you have to and the, and the startup the entrepreneur is always very helpful for if they can if they can imagine the context into which the story is going to be written so you know stories stories just don't don't just don't happen on their own there has to be there has to be a narrative around so if there's lots of stories about uh, amazing uh, e-commerce startups then you've got to understand that that's the context in which the journalists are writing the story. So how are you going to stand out in that narrative that already exists? Um, and trying to appreciate that, doing your research about what the journalist has written about on this subject before, what other, other outlets have written about, which outlets are, are going to be there. I mean, one thing I suppose, um, I wonder whether you think it's a good idea for 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 startups, entrepreneurs, and others to be to be realistic about about what they can achieve. Do you think? Yeah, I think they they should be like there should be some motive behind, and they should know that okay, you are doing this thing. Then what will be the uh, what will be the end result of that particular press release? Or even if they are planning to do some kind of coverage, what they are going to receive out of it? It should not be like they should not take media as a PR platform. Okay, they will mention about us. They will write about us. It sh there should be a clear motive. Like when you go and pitch to investors, your your motive is to get funding. But here, when you are pitching to a journalist, your motive is to get a story done. And for that, you have to be realistic, and you should not shy about sharing few things about yourself. So, at at number of stages, you know, when we talk to startup founders, they they usually tell us that okay we do not want to com comment upon that or they would be like talk to our pr person this this is not something good like which which we find uh, should be an approach that a startup founder should follow they they should be realistic about things and they should not uh, disrespect journalists in this particular context so i have been in experience, i have seen this thing that uh, in number of conferences when we talk to a founder they said okay fine uh, please talk to my pr person this is something which is disrespectful if we have a founder who is standing in front of us we are asking him something then he should be humble enough to you know answer back and i can probably say i mean from because i've obviously worked in pr and i've worked with startups so i've worked with big corporate mm -hmm. companies from the pr side it, it's it's you know in many what you what you're saying there i think is that is that you have to have an authentic story to tell and if you're not if that startup or the entrepreneur is not keen is not prepared to tell an authentic story about mm -hmm. themselves and allow some humanity into the story then mm -hmm. then you're going to not uh, be as effective because that's what the media want to tell the media want to tell a rounded human mm -hmm. story um, if you look at the coverage in, in all those media portals, in all technology coverage about startups, there is, there is almost always an interesting human angle. It's what people want, like to read about. It, it makes people stand out for the crowd. And my advice would be, I suppose, to many people would be, um, you, you need to think about how far you want to share your personal story, um, but understand that if you're not willing to share a personal story and to engage, then, then you are restricting your ability to to cut through and get coverage. Um, yeah, that's why they should be, you know, preparing in advance, like what they are really going to um, speak to the journalists and what they do not want to speak. If they are shy about sharing things, then really they they are really missing a big part. Yeah.
So I mean, one thing I just did a quick plug just really for the um, the, the startups uh, for, that are attending so that, that may be listening to this. Um, lots of lots of you have uh, have, have uh, put your press releases into your startup profiles. And my my team, my my job and my team's job is to get those press releases in front of many uh, as many of the 250 plus media that are coming to search. Those that haven't, could you please uh, upload your press releases as soon as possible so we can make sure um, that we get that in in front of, uh, of people as much. And if you've got any queries about that, please get in touch with the uh, with the startup uh, support team, the fulfillment team that uh, have been in contact with you on the email. Um, but yes, yeah, so press releases is one is one good thing. Um, do you have a sense of do, do uh, you know when when you're writing stories? Do you find that you write stories, uh, Bouja, that are based around sort of the BuzzFeed headlines? You know, lists and is there a format you think that is a, a useful way to entrepreneurs to think about how they tell their story? Uh, sorry, I'm not clear with the question. Sorry, uh, my, my, so my question was: Is there a format that you think is good for uh, for startups to use? Uh, a lot of people try and think about, you know, BuzzFeed. They do these yeah. very attractive headlines. They do bullet points. They do lists, yeah. and that sort huh. of. Does that does that help you? Do you think uh, appreciate? Uh, yeah. So uh, basically, you know, even on Inc. Forty Two, we try to you know write more of an experiential content, which we you know ask startup founders and even the PR persons to come and write these stories in, uh, in you know points, bullets, or you know ten things that startups should keep in mind while they are pitching to media or any other thing. So I think these are the quick takeaways which anyone can read and you know recall these things and these are basically things which are useful to others as well so i think these the, this type of format is pretty good which you know we also follow so. mm. and um so imagine let's imagine you're at the event i know you're going to be at surge i'm going to be there too um in the media in the media lounge um and in the speakers area um if you're a start of an entrepreneur you've got a story um, how should they actually go about approaching you or another member of the media? What's the what is the protocol? What's the best advice you think? So here, like you know, uh, Surge is an is a conference which is you know which is happening in uh, India for the first time, and it's it's it has its own scale. So you you guys usually tell about the the type of medias and all the organizations that are coming. Mm -hmm. So I think here startups should start doing their homework. They should try to maintain a list of list of media companies that are coming and their writers. They should, you know, so it's not necessary that each media company can do your profile. So every 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 media company has its own basis on what kind of stories they do. Like at Inc. 42, we only cover growth stage startups. So if an early stage startup comes to me and, you know, pitch about them, so we are not, in the end, we are not going to do a story about them. So here, startups should start tracking these things that what kind of stories, which kind of com uh, media companies do. So, so they should start and start, you know, uh, actually mailing these media people that, hey, I will be at search, let's catch up. So I think this is one approach which startups can start doing from today itself. And during the event when they meet, then a media person can actually recall ran rather than going and randomly saying hi. So it becomes a little bit of awkward, but it's good. But it's better to start building relations from today. And one genuine advice is like rather than becoming pushy to journalists, startup entrepreneurs should try to be friends with journalists. So you should not be like, you know, you are meeting me and you are telling me about yourself and you are like, please do our story. So this should not be an approach. This should be a follow up thing. When you meet at search directly, do not pitch for a story. Just meet them, share your collateral, share your press release. And after that, you can just write a follow up mail on this. Hey, we met there. We have done this. And I think this is a quite decent approach which startups should usually follow. We were talking earlier about a phone call that you've done just recently with a startup that you thought was particularly effective. Could perhaps you can yeah. tell you can tell us about that. So there is this startup called Deo Rooms uh, with whom I talked. Though that person was uh, you know being connected with me with someone uh, by someone else, but I really liked his approach. During the entire communication on the call, he never pitched me that, please do a story on me. He told me about himself. Hey, we launched this year. We did that. We did this. And this is how I thought I should share with you if you find it interesting. So this is this was a normal communication I had with. So I liked that person because he was not at all pushy to me over call. So in comparison to the type of calls I get on a daily basis from the PR people and startup founders, 
it was really a very good experience for me and i just when he dropped me a mail that hey it was nice talking to you and with a brief about its startup i said yes this is a startup i would like to cover because this approach is something which really impressed me so this i think this this is the way that others should also follow they should not try to get pushy and spam me to reporters yeah. we get you know on a daily basis we talk with interact with number of startups all over the net either it, it it may be on chat it may be on call it may be on mail but we we can only cover few startups and obviously it start but every startup does not have a you know very good story to share so we become choosy over here so i think if in case you want to get attention of meters and you have to be humble you have to think about from our end as well plus you you should try to more be friends with media because in future in case we are not able to do cover you today but we'll think about you future we'll always think about you if you are friends with us i think that's i think that's very good advice i think it you know uh, uh, entrepreneurs and and startups and and you know founders they need to think about building the relationship over time um and sometimes you have to invest <clears throat> invest in the connection invest in the relationship mm-hmm. without it necessarily expecting an immediate return um uh, by which i mean coverage that it doesn't necessarily every every chat does not uh, resolve uh, result in in uh, in you know column inches uh, or or articles on the web so that from that phone call have you written up that story from that 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 founding so- So we are process of writing that story right now so we'll publish it in the coming week but i have committed that person that definitely will do your story because i like this approach yeah and i think that's very that's very interesting and it's a very um you know i think you know for 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 you know for our experience for startups and entrepreneurs coming to our events um what we find is that a lot of uh, the lot of the feedback we get is that it was the start of something uh, it was the start of uh, of something great and uh, not necessarily immediate coverage immediate conversations and i think that um obviously for uh, for surge um you know we have 250 media uh, coming plus or certainly more than 250 now registered to come we've got most of the of uh, you know the major news outlets uh, both both indian and international uh, lots of broadcasters are all going to be there um and um you know there's there'll be there'll be lots of people pushing um and uh, and vying for their attention um and obviously it's it's the one it, it, to be honest as the as the ex journalist to me will always say it's the one with the most interesting stories that will stand out um and one of our jobs here at at at, at surgeon at web summit the, the, as the organizers is to make sure that we surface to you the journalists pujan people like you um what we think are the very best stories because we do we do our own uh, curation of of the stories so we make sure that those get in front of as many journalists as possible um but of course we've got the media team is going to be there um uh from surge will be there at the event and obviously we're going to be do our best to help uh, any entrepreneurs to craft their stories and get the get, get the attention um um they warrant um so um I, we're probably running out of time just now i i, I would say um what uh, it just it just sort of sum up really um what do you think um um what do you think is the is the one uh is if there's one key bit of uh key bit of way they they engage uh for at events like that what would you say it is what's the one tip you think that that people should remember uh prepare yourself that's the one thing which which one piece of advice which i have for startups start preparing yourself from today itself pooja thank you very much indeed for your time i'm really looking forward to seeing you uh in uh, in bangalore i'm looking forward to seeing lots of other people there too hopefully we're going to we're going to break through the 5000 person barrier for the event um it's going to be uh, it's going to be really exciting um and um i'm flying out in well in very soon so it'll be great it'll be great to see you all there thanks everyone for for watching um and uh, hopefully everyone's found this uh, of some use thanks so much